What's up, everybody? It's the answer one here with another episode. I'm here with another calling in chat with a quick disclaimer because the topic today we're talking about is child sex trafficking, um, pedophilia, and also, um, like other things to do with that type of stuff. <clears throat> Uh, I need to come out with a quick disclaimer. If you have any anxiety with the topics that we are talking about today, I please do advise that you do not watch the video. Other health concerns, please do not watch the video. Um, hope you guys have a good day. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment, first of all, what you guys uh, thought of the video. And also, comment what you guys want us to talk about like dark subject that most people don't talk about or maybe even a light topic i uh, see you guys in the next video hope you have a good time goodbye what's up everybody it's the Antoine here with another colony chat I'm here to talk about sex trafficking sex sla uh, it's all we slavery. all love it we all do it no <laughs> he's a comedian connor uh, panda person or con llama five or not panda person I don't know uh, go subscribe to him I don't know I can't link his videos so just just trust me it's panda person follow him How could you not be panda person you could also not be panda person um, we're here with another colony chat talking about uh, child predators child um, pornography child, anything that has to do with uh, distribution Can. of of children underage um, this is a very touchy topic that most people don't talk about and uh, I do advise I really do advise um, if you are make uh, jokes about it and uh, I'll viewer sure discretion is advised um, if you have a family member who's been affected by this and you have PTSD about it please do not watch this video also um, just uh, know that this is very mature video unlike the last one that was talking about coronavirus or COVID-19 um, this is going to be a very touchy video because most people don't talk about this type of stuff and let's get into the video so Connor what is your thoughts on uh, let's first go with uh, child predators people people that are child predators uh, my first thoughts about them they are very disgustingly people. They they are they very disgusting. They are actually die. very disgusting. They are very disgusting. They 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 should rot in hell. But we're trying to. I'm trying to limit the amount of cussing that we have on these videos so these don't get demonetized. So um yeah, they are very disgusting people, and like are... I don't know how what goes on through their heads, but um it worries me that there are actually people out there like that and it's very disgusting very disgusting very disgusting they should like just die already yeah um like i don't know how you get into the like the thought in your head like hey i really am sexually attracted to Z aids children like little kids and i don't see how anybody could think that i don't i really don't they always hunt from from online. They always catfish. Catfishes. Ah, that's another that's another topic that we'll go over in the next in another video. Um, catfishing is uh <laughs> kind of douchey, man. If you do that, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. But um, going back to the topic, um, like uh, if you're t if you're a child predator, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> There's no other way Would to put it. Would pics count as child pornography? What? Would feet pics count as child pornography? Um, huh. I don't think so. I, I don't know. That's an odd question. I, I never thought of that. <laughs> There's a creeper in, on top of your, your uh, wooden thing, your little over here. <laughs> God damn that. it. I don't care. I don't care. He's going to despawn. Eventually. Um... But yeah, I, I really don't know about that one. Um, Okay, uh, let's start decorating this room. Okay, so bring some oak logs and start filling them like as support structures here, like on these corners and then up on the roof here, like, a, like I'm punching. Uh-huh. 
So let's bring in that. I'm going to start mining out this floor once more so we can replace it with uh, some flooring. There's an enderman doing a 360 on top of your wooden frame. Yeah, okay. But yeah, uh, I don't know how people can think that, like, think, hey, I'm going to be, I'm sexually attracted to little kids. And it's actually a big problem. Like, like you, if you have that, don't act on your sexual, or your sexual attraction. Get some help. Please get some help. Like, because that's a dark path. That's a dark path you can go down. That's like one of the darkest paths you can go down. And I really do worry about uh, people. Uh, I heard a story. Um, this actually ties into what we're about to talk about, which is uh, child abduction or um, sex trafficking or um, kid kidnapping. And it's. It happened in Texas here in our own home state. Um, Amber, Amber. Um, I'll pull up the uh, Wikipedia page for Amber, but the reason for Amber Alerts is because of this girl, and it scares me what this dude did to this girl. It really does scare me. It does worry me of the because like what happened. It, it was, it's terrifying to watch. It's terrifying to listen to, but I will uh, speak of it. Um, Uh, but, yeah, um, child abduction is not a funny topic, it's really not, you can't make any jokes about it, you can make a few jokes about it, like, there's a kidnapping at school, what, is he okay? Oh, yeah, he just woke up, that's a funny joke. Yeah. <laughs> that's an old, classic one. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find the original news source. I'm looking at the Wikipedia page, by the way. So this is mm -hmm. my source. Um, I'm not trying to gain money from these, by the way. Um, Amber is a uh, acronym for Americans Missing Broadcast Emergency Response. The alert was named after Amber Hingerman, a nine-year-old girl abducted and murdered in Argyllan, Texas in 1996. Alternative regional area, regional alert names were once used in Georgia. Levy's call in commemoration of Levy uh, Frady in Hawaii. Malay Amber Alert in memory of Malay Gilbert in Arkansas. Morgan Nick Amber Alert in memory of Morgan Nick. Don't and in Utah, Rachel uh, Alert in memory of Rachel Rui. Union. In the United States, Amber Alerts are distributed via commercial and public radio stations, internet radio, satellite radio, television, and text messages and cable by the Emergency Alert System and NOAA Weather Radio. Um, but let me see if I can find more on Amber. Gosh dang it, I'm gonna stop. But that's the Amber Alert in the US. And uh, it basically tells us like whenever there's been a, a kidnapping missing, a kidnapping or abduction and it's really helpful. Very helpful. So when you see one you wanna keep a lookout. Yeah, you wanna keep a lookout. You always wanna keep a lookout for it for like a license plate or a description that it tells you. Um, Amber Hankerman was a your typical nine-year-old girl living in Argonland, Texas. She was in the Girl Scouts. She and her five-year-old brother Ricky loved to ride their bicycles together. Then the unthinkable happened on one horrible end afternoon. On January 13th, 1996, Amber Hankerman rode her bike to the parking lot of a banded grocery store. Don't do that, kids. 
don't go alone. Don't go alone and don't say hi to neighbors. I advise you, strictly advise you. Oh God. <laughs> Connor, Connor. I know, I saw that. So I said don't look up before <laughs> you just sat there reading. Yeah, um. Uh, she was in the in Bannon. A man in a black pickup truck got out, forcibly took Amber off her bike and stuffed her inside into the cab of the truck. She screamed once and was kicking at her abductor. She said the only witness to Amber's abduction, Jimmy and Kevil. <laughs> but yeah, um, he called the police shortly after seeing Amber's abduction. It was to no avail. Despite more than 50 police officers and federal agents looking for Amber, they didn't find the youngster alive. Five days later, a passerby found Amber's body in a rain swollen creek approximately four miles from the abandoned parking lot. Her throat was cut. Authorities believed a thunderstorm swept Anders, Amber's body into the creek because because apartment maintenance workers in the area didn't see anything out of the ordinary before the storm. Amber's parents, Donna uh, Whitson and Richard Hengerman, were in disbelief when police officers told them of the terrible news. They always held out for hope then that their precious angel was alive and would come back to them. Amber's father even told reporters that she was sti that she still she was still alive after the police chaplain left her house. The police case the case had two um diametrically opposed outcomes that were both tragic and hopeful. <laughs> To this day, the murder has not been brought to justice. Detectives in Arlington area receive occasional tips that they follow. Only one person saw what happened. A lack of information and other witnesses following the abduction may have slowed any progress in finding Amber. Ooh. Um, yeah, but shortly after uh, Amber's funeral, Diane Simone, a mom herself, called... Uh, not the mom, but uh, Amber's mom, but a, a mom, called a local radio station and she had an idea. Um, uh, she figured local media sent out weather alerts, you know, uh, weather, severe weather alerts. She mm -hmm. decided she'd ask if they could uh, uh, send out alerts for kids, like kidnapping alerts, and that's the birth of Amber alert. Uh... <laughs> I read a different story um, earlier, earlier in my uh, life um, when I was uh, looking into Amber Alerts and stuff, because I had a recent interest in what does Amber Alert stand for, <clears throat> and I found a uh, news article that stated that Amber was forcefully uh, beaten and also sexually assaulted, oh, snap. and her throat was slit, so it was clear that the abductor. Uh, raped a child and then uh, killed a child afterwards. But fun fact, not that fun actually. <laughs> not fun. Houston fact. is one of the most. Houston's one of the most dangerous cities. Yes, um, we. I was just about to say that uh, Houston is actually one of the most dangerous uh, child abduction cities in all in the fifty states uh, because we are right by the Gulf Coast. We have. Uh, airport, uh, a really large airport, um, and we also have highway systems leading all the way to the other 50 states, also leading into Mexico. <sighs> but yeah, um, I would advise you, if you, if you see a strange man or strange woman, it could be of any gender, it doesn't matter, uh, do not go near them, stranger danger, keep away from strangers, don't, if they start talking to you, do not uh, do not go to them. Go back home, and if they try to forcefully take you, scream as loud as you can. Try I'm to sorry, be by most by more people than you can. Don't go out alone unless you are forced by your parents. And even then, tell your parents, "I don't want to be adopted." They'll then say, "Oh, okay, yeah." Um, they may yeah, still like they stay may still kick you out the house. Trial and error, man. Trial and error. But yeah, I do advise you to be careful, really be careful, and try to stay safe out there. Um, 
Pa yeah. Pepper spray. <laughs> pepper spray, yeah, that would work. Tasers. Yeah, but pocket um, knives. That is very scary. That's a very scary thing. Um, I wouldn't want to even imagine what it's like to go through a abducting at all. I don't think anybody wants to imagine what it's like. No, not at all. Um, it's a very scary thing. <laughs> but you see on the news, like um. A uh, child got abducted or a child missing. Uh, police are investigating into it. You see those stories and you're like, oh, that could never happen to you. And then, or to me. It does. At, and then it happens. The impossible happens. And that's a scary thing. It could happen to anybody. It could happen to absolutely anybody. And it's very scary. It is a very scary thing. Yeah. No one is safe. No, no one is safe. No one is safe. <laughs> but, um, this is not to scare you. This is not to, this video is not to scare you at all. It is to inform you oh, to, of, yeah. of the dangers of society and that there are people there are good people out there. I do advise you to, like, start learning who people are. Like, go to your neighbors. Start talking to your neighbors and learn about them. Like, hang out with the elderly. But if you see a stranger start talking to you, don't talk to them. Go away. Run if you have to. Bike away. Like, stay by people. Have adults nearby. Make sure that you're by trusted people. Like... Another thing, we were learning about this in class, child uh, uh, sex slavery. This is the next topic that we're going to go into, um, leading into um, sex slavery and sex labor, sex labor and se or child, um, Jesus, I didn't have enough, uh, and child, um, <laughs> child slavery. But let's first talk about sex uh our, um, sex trafficking? It? Sex trafficking, yes. Um, tactics that people use, like, if they already have a, a girl in sex uh, trafficking, they're going to see, say, like, talk to her and say, hey, uh, you don't get these drugs. Like, they train their, their people and with drugs. And it's a very, very scary thing. Mm -hmm. And like drugs are not a good thing like life expectancy for being in sex trafficking is very low it's very low like they they take girls that are in their teens around 12 to 15 and life expectancy is 18 to 20 it's very scary it is very scary mm -hmm. um can you take out all these walls by the way and uh Fill them with cobblestone yeah. and andesite. What? Cobblestone, andesite, uh, stone, and um, and stone bricks. Got it? Okay, I'll try. Alright, thank you. But yeah, like I was saying, um, life expectancy is very low. Very low. And they train their people with drugs and the girls become reliant on the drugs. And then they say, you won't get any of these drugs if you do not listen to us. And uh, so we're going to let you free. Uh, we're going to let you go out there. And you find, uh, you basically befriend a, a girl and trick her into uh, getting into sex, or, uh, sex slavery mm -hmm. and sex trafficking. And that's one of their... Uh, there's, that's one of their things. So I, I highly advise you, have a group of friends that you can absolutely, and I mean absolutely trust. Like, because it's a scary world out there. It is very scary, and it's not a fun world. Like, like living in bliss is so, like, living in ignorance is so fun. Like, as a child, when I was, like, uh, 10 years old, I had no idea what sex even was like so the idea of underage children 
getting um, getting raped and put into these conditions is like would have mind boggled me. I probably wouldn't have been the same person as I am today. I would have probably been scarred, like, and this whole entire uh, colony chat that I created is to tell you people like tell you people about topics that most people don't talk about like <laughs> do you hear PewDiePie talking about sex trafficking no that's not his content like uh, content creators and uh, people out there don't want to talk about this stuff because this is very very like sensitive sensitive very sensitive topics and very scary topics indeed like so like it's even risky to even talk about this because we could probably get like hit by a bunch of people like saying no you guys are fucking idiots why would you go die like burn in hell fuck you like we'd probably get a lot of hate comments on these sooner or later mm -hmm. So, I don't really care about hate comments. I'm, I, I really don't care. So, hit me as hard as you can, bitch. <laughs> Please don't. Actually, don't. Don't. Uh, I'm never gonna say that. Ah, oh, you fuck. <laughs> You're gonna say that. Just knew it. You're an asshole. Um, we have a problem. <laughs> we ran out of spruce. We'll go get some. I already planted some two oh, spruce, spruce oh, yeah, trees. Yeah, I, I just saw them. Um, okay, uh, select sex slavery. Uh, this is your topic. You can start talking now because you haven't talked enough. Um, sex slavery. Um, your thoughts on it, first of all. Um, it's all nasty stuff. <laughs> Very nasty stuff. stuff. <laughs> disgusting, People yes, do. disgusting. Just for their entertainment. Entertainment or sexual desire. Mm-hmm. Their horniness. Ah. Uh, guys. Don't think with the little brain down there in your crotchal area. Don't think with that. Think with your brain. Your actual brain. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I advise Not you to do. Hormones. Think with your actual brain. Don't think with your hormones. It's a terrible thing to do. <laughs> terrible thing to do. Ah. Uh, but, um... As I was saying, um, how has uh, these topics affected you, your life so far? They made me be very careful of my surroundings. Yeah. And I always watch out for them. I always get ready just in case anything happens. Get ready. Have 911 dialed. Be smart. Yeah. Do some oh yeah. Cool oh yeah. Tricks. That's another thing. That's another thing. Have 911 on speed dial. Mm-hmm. If you feel uneasy, trust your gut. You want to go get ready to... Yeah, if your friends um. also are, like, talking about, like, things like this, uh, talk to them about it. Like, say, hey, what the fuck are you talking about? Um, this is... I'm not going along with this idea. Like, like protect yourself. Protect yourself. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a thing that you should do. Protect yourself. Stay, stay aware of your surroundings. Make sure that you, uh, that you're not uh, being watched. Being watched or vulnerable. Okay, let's move on to the next topic. Um, sh uh, child labor or, uh, child, um, uh, child slavery. Child there we slavery? go. Child yeah. slavery, yeah. Terrible thing, terrible thing. Um, but people are selling children in the countries for for what seems a lot of money to them. Like, they're probably thousands of in their currency, but converted to our currency is like ten hundred dollars around mm -hmm. that. And I can't elaborate enough. Humans don't have a, like a value a currency to them you can't you can't say oh a human is worth z amount of money because if full metal alchemist hasn't explained this already um 
the components to make a human, you can buy. You can literally buy on a allowance. On a child's allowance, you could buy, like, <gasps> ammonia. What? Um, somehow I put in oh, God. my dumb freaking stone, and it puts in my jungle wood. <laughs> I don't know how retarded that has to be to do that, but it just did that to me. And I was, I was like, wait, why is there jungle wood in there? Yeah, that sucks, man. That sucks. <laughs> Nice. All right, but um, God, what was I saying? Oh, God. Yeah, um, they're paying little to no money, like just to get by for like an extra day or so, and they're selling their children to these terrible people for just sex for slavery money. or labor slavery, like child or child slavery. Yeah, it's still a thing. You Americans abolish everybody abolish slavery, like it's completely illegal but it's still around that's a scary thing mm -hmm. it's still here it's still here and people are ignorant about it sure ignorant is bliss but once you start learning about this it changes your life for better or for worse and i i wish p more people would talk about this type of stuff yes i do agree but again, with that I, but then again, I understand that these are very, very touchy sensitive. subjects, very sensitive topics, and you have to tread lightly when you're talking about them, and try not to get politics into it, like involved into it. Where are you? Or are you oh, some super spouter? To... Yeah, I'm trying to get the Gucci Gang loot. Let me see what you're trying to do. <laughs> but, um, like we are saying, like, be careful, watch your surroundings. Make sure that you're by the people you trust. Ooh, you got it to work. Yeah, I just put stuff in there. Finally. God damn. Pretty simple. About time it starts working. I do need that gravel, though. Gravel. I'll be helpful. Yeah, we're we'll, gonna we'll have to find a gravel biome pretty soon. Mm hmm. Alright, but, um. Oh yeah, um, child pornography, terrible thing. That's the next topic, child pornography. We'll go back to each topic again and elaborate what we're thinking, like, on our personal opinions, what to do to prevent it, like, what to do to, uh, to prevent it, yeah, and, like, how it's affected our friends' lives, our lives, and what we think society's view on it is. <laughs> Well, let's go into, uh, child pornography. Terrible thing. Terrible thing. Very terrible. Um, don't do it. Please, please, by the gods, don't do it. <laughs> oh, oh, god, don't do it, actually. It's a federal crime. It is a federal crime to be holding mm -hmm. child pornography. And they will get leaked. Eventually, yeah. If you have child pornography, they will get leaked eventually. <laughs> it's not if that they get leaked, happen. it's when they get leaked. Yes. And um yeah. Just don't do it. Like you know buddy somebody who has child pornography, fucking tell the FBI or the police or somebody who has connections that so that person can get into major trouble. Because mm -hmm. that person, you, if even if it's like the best friend that you thought you could trust, fucking report them. Report that crap. Yeah, I do not condone any of this. Please, by the gods, don't, don't, just don't. <laughs> by the way, I'm probably gonna have to rebuild this super smelter because it's not working that well. It works pretty well, it just doesn't work that well. That's how you get the XP out of it. Uh, you just, uh, basically grab it out from here. Oh, okay. Um, like, grab the XP. Yeah, after a while. Yeah, I understand. I do it now. Oh, I got like 10 X <laughs> No, I got like an XP point. It's one level. I got one level. It hasn't been working that much lately. But yeah. Um... I think... Wait. Yeah, because my, my, my question is, would deep pics count as child pornography? 
Uh, your your. Uh, beat pick. What? Hey, feet picks. Like feet picks. Oh, Some people. Beat. Oh yeah. Uh, if you're, <laughs> um, that's a weird one. I I've never thought of that before. Cause yeah, I don't know if it is or if it isn't. Um, let's try lightly and say it is. But I mean, it's not really pornography. But it brings up the point. It's uh -huh. people have foot fetishes, and if you have a foot fetish with underage children, then technically Free money. to you, it's uh, to Free you money. as a person. If you if you have a foot fetish and also are a child predator, that is technically to you child mm -hmm. pornography. Mm. Well, that brings up an excellent point because uh, people have that that type of stuff. Also, um, if you're a child and you have are in possession of child pornography, like your girlfriend's nudes, who is underaged, and you're underaged, and she has your nudes, well, both of you guys are going to jail then. If you get caught. You, yes, if you get caught. And you are going to get caught. Everybody gets caught. It's a, not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And when? When that happens, you both are going to go into jail. Even though you both consented to uh, giving each other those pictures mm -hmm. to the to the court of law, you have been distributing child pornography, and it's not funny. It's not funny at all. No, no um, fun. Yeah. Um. What else is there? Uh, uh, be smart. Be aware of your surroundings. Yeah. Um, let's go back to slavery because I think we've only delved into how people are distributing it and like how people mm -hmm. are doing it. Uh, we are not really talking about um, what it involve, what is involved in it. So, uh, slavery is like labor it's basically forced labor until uh, that's uh people basically force you to do this labor and it's very very wrong like if like people don't get paid they get treated completely poorly they probably get beat they're fed completely badly their living conditions are pretty pretty shitty and um, their life expectancy is not that long, like probably till their thirties, because they're not healthy. They're not. They're not eating well. They're not sleeping well. They're continuously working, and getting mm -hmm. beaten up. So their life expectancy is probably low, and it's a serious topic. Honestly, like my view on it is, it's completely fucked. It's like. Um, completely fucked, yeah. But, what are your viewpoints on it, and how has it affected you, the people around you, and then we'll go into uh, how society thinks of it. Um, and, how, and then ways to prevent it. I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything. All I think about is exactly what I said before, to everything. So basically, to stay safe? Yeah, the if you stay safe, don't get fucked. More. Stay safe, don't get <laughs> fucked. <laughs> That's the best advice we can give you. Mm -hmm. Stay safe and don't get fucked. <laughs> oh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yikes! Yikes! I got it engulfed by a tree. Wow! It went num 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 num. Tasty. Human flesh. Oh, I forgot to do that. Oh, snap. Oh, crap. So that didn't work. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. But, um,. I think society's viewpoint on it is that it's pretty bad. It is bad. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Like, but nobody's really paying attention to it. Like, they know it's bad. They know it's ethically wrong, but nobody's really paying attention to it. And like, now if they directly see it, they will take action. But technically, nobody's actually doing anything about it. There are like, there are uh, organizations that are trying, but there's not a lot of them. There's not as much as uh, child um, abduction, so like child sex slavery. There's not as much as that, um, but um, there it is. There are people who like in sex or in uh, slavery, child slavery. There's not a lot of people who know about it. And the people who do know about it, yikes! Almost got engulfed again. But the people who do know about it are preventing it as much as they can. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Uh, how can you, how can we prevent it? Um, any ideas? By teaching everyone to be safe and be smart about your surroundings. Yes, be safe, be smart. Also, we could prevent it by uh, helping lesser third world countries um, and evolve and like rise their economy. Because a lot of this mm -hmm. problem is because of wealth. Like they're selling their children to these people. Just get money. To get money, yeah. Yikes, I almost got engulfed again, what the fuck? Those trees must really think you look tasty. Nom nom nom. <laughs> We're so immature. Yes, God we damn grapple. it! What Dude, happened? Every single time I keep destroying a tree, it's like nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? End. Oh my god, okay. But, um... Yeah, uh, stay safe out there, kids. Stay safe. Thank you for being followed. Speed, speed dial that crap. Speed dial. Like, to say, hey, I feel like I'm being followed. Um, can I get a police car to pick me up, please? And then they, they will probably respond to you. They, they may think you're lying. Honestly, police officers are kind of douchebags sometimes. Now, I love police officers. I support police officers 100%. They do a, so a wonder to um, our society. Like, mm -hmm. their contributions to uh, this, to our uh, law system, and like going on to the front lines and dealing with people. Even like uh, the smallest thing, like uh, pulling somebody over, they don't know who that person is. They could mm -hmm. literally get a gun pulled out on them, and that's a mm -hmm. scary job. But sometimes police officers are kind of dicks and they feel like like if you go to the police station and say hey I'm getting sexually harassed on the internet they'll think you're lying they'll think you're lying you're just trying to get attention mm -hmm. you're doing it for intention and that's a thing that's well, that I think it's pretty silly because some people at times sometimes they aren't lying a lot of the times they aren't lying and they want their voices to be heard and the only people that they can turn to are the police officers and the police force and what did the police officers do about it? Nothing. 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 But that's a topic for another day. Like police officers, or is another topic for another day. But um, yeah, scary world up there. Very Where scary the world. Fuck! Did you go? <laughs> you keep disappearing oh, on I me. I went to go to the ocean because oh. there's always gravel in the ocean. Oh yeah, things. yeah. Oh Jesus! I'm getting scared Boo. a lot today. But yeah, stay safe out there, kids. Um. Uh, sex trafficking. Your thought? How has it affected the people around you? Um, makes people more aware of what could happen. That's yeah. the exact same thing I'd say, because yeah. I don't really know. Yeah. Um one of my uh my cousin's friend uh friend's cousin. My cousin's friend's cousin uh had a friend who recently um ran away and almost got abducted. Mm. And Wait. It was very scary. It was very scary knowing that my cousin's friend's cousin's friend. Jesus Christ, that's confusing and doesn't sound plausible at all, but it is. I promise it is. 
<laughs> but my cousin's friend's cousin is a uh, friend. Um, knowing that <laughs> that that happened, uh, it's very scary, and it's happened before. Like, and it's affected me in a personal matter. Like, I I honestly hate. Uh, child abductors with a passion. I wish they all go to hell. They make me mm -hmm. wish that there is a hell, honestly. Honestly, yeah. But, um... How society thinks of it. Terrible. People are actually doing stuff about it. People are... There's organizations to prevent it. There are organizations to help it. Like, if some a child gets abducted, there's an organization to, uh... to go look for that child. Or if, like... Like, there's organizations to prevent it. And how I think I see we used to prevent it is to be around people you 100% trust. Like, mm -hmm. you need to trust them to the point where you know their social security number. That's a joke. Um, but yeah, you need to trust these people with your life. Like, actually, trust them with your life. Mm -hmm. Like, I would say Rambo, The Last Blood movie about Rambo it had sex trafficking and all that stuff in the movie yeah because um, one of this girl's friends she wanted to meet again she went to Mexico boom drugged sex, sex traffic yeah died very quick yeah and it's a scary place because it happens it does happen to everybody at some mm -hmm. point well hopefully it doesn't happen to everybody <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> it affects everybody at some point like in one way or another like um but yeah uh th i think that goes along with sex labor or sex uh trafficking sex slavery and child predators um fuck them <laughs> Just anything. That I hope they go to jail down. and they get raped in the own ass. In their own ass. I think they would like that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what the fuck, Connor? What? They're you really... make something so fucking serious sound so goddamn funny, and it's so weird. How the fuck do you do it? I don't know. I just say what's in my mind. Mm. Pretty, pretty neat. Bad. The Go grave ahead. and put a beat in it. That's pretty deep, ain't it? Uh, you should listen to uh, NF Intro 3. Okay. It's a pretty lit song. No freedom for you. Stupid cows. Oh yeah, we'll, wow. we'll talk about... um. Uh, the animal slaughtering and PETA in a separate video as well. Like I said, we're going to talk about everything. Everything. Stocks, like, um, money, economy. We're going to talk about things that are good, not good, bad, great, terrible, enthusiastic, um, bad shit crazy, and bad shit boring sometimes. We even talk about That's the executional nice. system once in a while. And we may go back and touch on these topics when we learn more about them. Like, we may go mm -hmm. touch back on Corona and make it into a complete video of, like, diseases and illnesses. And, like, talk about each and every single disease and each and every single illness and, like, uh, cancer and other things, right? Yep. We may uh, have some guest hosts. Of course, Connor and I are always going to be uh, the host for these things, but um, once this whole corona thing dies down, I'm gonna actually create a podcast room so we can have live podcasts. And oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. With Blue Yeti mics, um, I'm planning on buying those when I have them. Blue Yeti mics, a pretty damn good laptop so for podcasting and streaming, and also um, a pretty high resolution camera. And some bees, you can't forget about the bees. We'll have a stuffed animal be on the on the counter as well as an ant, okay? As well as a panda. We we need the panda and the ant, okay? Okay. Um so there's gonna be four hallways or four doors to these, okay? 
Okay. So there's gonna be we find the center point of this whole entire room, which is probably gonna be the center. Point. <laughs> yes. that this is the center point. So you basically make a three by three door with a three by three tunnel, like five blocks out, and then build another room for like pumpkin farming, another room over here for sugar cane, another room over here for like mm -hmm. far like just general farming and over here for like villager trading and inside the central room we're gonna build a uh enchanting room. Got it? Okay. Got so that. like I said, this is gonna be a starter house. Um yeah, but try to prevent, like, try to, like, inform people about this stuff. Because mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Amber, uh, God, what was her name again? Uh, Amber. Amber, yeah. Amber, forgot her last name. Sorry. Sorry. Disrespect, I'm joking. I'm sorry. <laughs> So keep on going. But, yeah, uh, spread the awareness. Like, mm -hmm. donate to causes if you have enough money. Like, if you have it's children. If you have an extra couple of pocket chains, instead of putting it to your gaming, put it to something that actually matters. Like that can actually affect the world around us. And if you think someone's gonna be or gonna get. Um, if you think if you think you are in trouble or a friend of yours is in trouble in or trouble. a friend oh, of yours is oh. affected like like let's say mm. you're a girl and one of your uh, best friends is inside that business and unintentionally help her help her get some mm -hmm. help like call the police help get her help like because by the time she's in custody uh, the people who are abducting her can't do anything about that and then they're fucked mm-hmm so try try to help people as much as you can. Support those who have been affected. Like, uh, I think this is it for us on this episode, right? Yeah. Yeah. Of course, since uh, I don't want to do live streams right now, uh, we there would probably be a few people asking a few questions, of course. But yeah, I'm too lazy to do a live stream. So see you on the next one. The uh, Ants one out, I guess. Bye.